So what's up everybody? Welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Fight with none other than Henry Cejudo, aka Triple C. And today I'm gonna break it down UFC T UFC 281 Israel Adesanya versus uh, Alexander Pereira. I tell you what, man, this fight here, my initial reaction is, is you have the current champ who's fighting the guy who is 2-0 against him. You know, they've, they've had two meetings and, and then Pereira's happened to, happened to beat Israel both. This is interesting because Israel Adesanya hasn't had the best performances and him ha not having the best performances, I'm, I'm saying being boring. And everybody being critical, me being one of them. Uh, but I, I do believe with this fight, man, you, you are going to have two strikers. And I don't think this, I don't think this fight's gonna go five rounds. I really don't. I think for, just for the simple fact that Alex Pereira has experience with Israel Adesanya, and this is the way I kind of see the fight coming out. Um, obviously, Israel's a, champ, uh, Israel's a champion for a reason, but I also see the, the more the diversity that Pereira has, I think what makes him a little more dangerous, because there is one thing that Israel does leave behind. He's very wide, so I think this. I think he may end up changing this during the fight. Is his stats? Notice he's very heavy on his legs here because he's able to rock back and forth. And really, a lot of mixed martial artists haven't been able to take advantage of that front leg. You see, but I think when you got a guy like like Pereira, who's been there before, who's a kickboxer, who is known for kicking, this is where I think the fight could pay dividends on his side. Uh, there's a lot of things that Israel does do. He'll call people in. He'll copy him with Shega to eventually catch him with that, catch him with that lean hook. That's pretty much one of a kind. But like I said before, even with those lean hooks that he does end up doing, he does leave his legs behind. So a lot of what uh, Pereira can end up doing, Pereira can end up smoking the hands and whatnot to get him to go backwards, but being cautious to eventually kick it. We see, we've seen the jumping knees knocking people out. We've seen the left hooks where he's laying people out. I just think he's a little more diverse. There's a couple of things that Israel does wrong in mixed martial arts, and, and mixed martial arts, and I think uh, Pereira's gonna end up capitalizing. Number one is the stance. He's a little too wide off of here. You see his stance, so I, think, I do believe Pereira's gonna go ahead and pick at that front leg. Uh, he'll tend to get people to come in to eventually throw that hook. I think Pereira has been there before where he has an ability to be able to catch him with those right hands as soon as he as soon as he leans for that hook, she like to boom. You see what I'm saying? So you're able to smoke to get inside because knowing that lean or end up kicking that front leg out. It, it, it's an interesting fight because for the just for the simple fact that these are two guys who are coming from uh, 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 their recognized sport in kickboxing who are gonna eventually fight in mixed martial arts. And this is where you're gonna see who is it that's pretty much more well-rounded because the distance and the timing and all that does change for mixed martial arts because there are takedowns involved. You can do a lot more, you know, there's, there's leaning somebody against the cage, there's top, there's bottom. So I think for Israel, he's gonna have to use it. He's gonna have to use his experience. How smart is he? How much can he learn from everything that he's done in these championship fights? Will, will, he, will he be able to set Pereira up to kick, or or could Israel eventually if he practices wrestling? Could he take him down? Could he take him down? Make him find his B side? Because as of right now. If it, if it comes down to striking, I am gonna go with Alexander Pereira. It's just for the simple fact that he's beaten up twice before. This guy has more diverse with the kicks, with the jumping. He's, as we saw, these are things that, that Israel doesn't necessarily do. Israel's the type of an opponent that will chip you away, that will hurt you, and that will end up finishing, finishing you in the later rounds. For Pereira, you just don't know what you get. You know, we saw before the jumping knees, the kicks, uh, the left hooks, the right hands. I think he's just a little more diverse. So for that reason, I'm going to Alexander Pereira, you know, by knockout. And that's your breakdown. You guys make sure to subscribe to the Triple C channel. I am out. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdown, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out.